What it do, homies? It's your boy Dave, and I'm back today. We out here with some more Sabaton. This time we're checking out their song, Soldier of Heaven. Okay. And it looks like this tells the story uh, of a soldier who, like many of his brothers, froze to death in the Alps during World War I. The soldier speaks of horrors he witnessed as a spirit bound to the mountains. He, may, he makes mention of White Friday, a disaster that occurred in 1916 when an avalanche killed an estimated 10,000 Australian and Italian soldiers. And Cody Lana named the Blood Mountain because of the unusually high number of casualties that occurred there. Now, that's very interesting. Unusually high numbers, right? Now, I'm thinking, you know, in the mountains and everything, avalanches and stuff ha happens all the time. Um, but people who are generally going there, whether it be for war or just for, you know, exploration journey purposes and stuff like that, they're usually prepared and can, and, and can get away from types of stuff like that. Usually, that's what I like to think. Uh, but this says unusually high, which means that either avalanches or other type of issues that has happened here um must have been something that you can't prepare for <clears throat> and he said he witnessed a spirit bound to the mountain so it's almost as if it was intentional very interesting okay well now that we got a little small little synapses let's let Joachim and uh sabaton tell it how they always do this is probably going to be something absolutely amazing. Christmas Truce was amazing. This album is looking to shape up to be one of their best. And I'm so glad to be here at the forefront of it as I just recently discovered Sabaton this year. So let's go ahead and shut up and turn it up. <clears throat> oh, that's interesting. It's like a synth. Okay, oh, hold on, hold on. But first off, that kind of threw me for a loop right there. Interesting, right? What is that? 80s vibes, right? With the drums. Doo -doo -doo -doo. And then we have those uh those synths that dun -dun 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 -dun. Oh wow, okay. That's that's interesting. Won't be coming home. <clears throat> I won't be going anywhere. I will go this post forever. Here on the Alpine slope, where I did my final stand. I shall remain among the ice and snow that binds me to this mountain. A force of nature too strong sends from above. Where spirits lead the way, the winds will never fade. White Friday, I'll take the stairway. One thing that hold on, hold on real quick. Whole thing, one thing that uh Sabaton is really, really good at doing is just just evoking like the perfect amount of emotions in their music. I mean, oh my goodness, y'all. So Soldier of Hell and uh Frozen Death. So what are they pretty much like the guardians or whatnot, right? That's what I'm thinking. Disaster occurred. I just, evidence killed 10,000. So it's, I mean, I mean, ooh, I would, I would, I would be even scared to take step on that. With those unusual high amount of deaths, 10,000 guys, 10,000 Australian and Italian soldiers. That's just crazy. Okay. Sorry. You, the, the, the emotions and stuff that they, that they swept up in, in their type of performances and everything is just, is just captivating, if you will. Right pretty cool how they showing you know he's deaf and, he, and then they're showing like these little after images of their spirits like guardian guarding like the the the, the mountain or whatnot i don't know but the, the the sound that they got going on here is just something vastly different and that kind of speaks to the versatility of sabaton you know even though they're mostly a rock band and this is you know rock music it's just they can just switch between decades regardless you know whatever they cover and they give it that really really unique sound okay I never, I won't Forever. So many brave men fell in the battles that were raging. 
Hold on, hold on. It's a solo about to come on, right? Right. Been listening to Sabaton, and it's a crime for any type of rock or metal music for you to pause during a solo. So let me just get my some of my thoughts out right here before the solo starts, because we ain't trying to pause during that, okay? Production value has been insane. And that's an understatement. It's been insane. Every year, they just keep upping themselves and upping themselves. You know what I mean? It gets me super excited just to go see them live, just to see what they're going to do. But these, like all of these effects and everything, everything down to the smallest detail, got the snow, got these explosions, you know, spirit and everything, talking about the battle that's going on. Uh, It's all just absolutely beautiful. And I love the tone of this song. And it's, it's also got, you know, <clears throat> it's also installing a couple of stats. I had a um, stepdad that served in the military. Um, he was long out before he became my stepdad. Um, uh, but he recently passed away. Not recently. Well, he passed away. Yeah. He's pretty, that's pretty late. Not recently. Um, and it's very interesting, right? This type of image right here where they kind of got the spirits kind of coming up and like looking over or kind of just looking down and everything. And, and I know that, you know, some of you guys has watched, I don't know if you've known anybody in your family that's been a part of this or been in World War One and part of this particular story. Um, but I can understand how, you know, music like this kind of bring up those type of emotions and everything. Right. And it make you start thinking about any of your deceived loved ones that could be, you know, possibly looking over you right now. And, and it, it just kind of instills like a sense of like, like, like gratitude attitude right for for especially for you know getting get froze to death like that that you know that's 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 very unfortunate and everything but um you know if you got family members that has you know died for a good cause you know sitting out here you know out here fighting for our freedoms that we enjoy here today you know how dare we like disrespect we should always keep them in memory we should always um honor those who have who have fought for these basic freedoms that we have today like going to the sink and getting some water and everything and the fact that i could just go wherever i please uh without having any type of issues you know i keep those things in mind and just seeing that spirit come up from that body and just just kind of made me think just like you just look around like my any of my family members that have served whether i know them or not could be possibly looking at me right now you know what i'm saying just looking down on you guys right now and we just need to keep that in mind you know, while we're sitting here in our comfy chairs and on our phones scrolling up and down and everything of the those very things that we take for granted that these soldiers fought for. Right. That's that's that just it just made me think about that. And I wanted to comment on that. All right. Sorry for that. Let's go ahead and get back to the epic song. Modulation. Dang. And you know, you know, what, what's, he, what's even more powerful about this type of song is that, you know, interesting that they put that there. Not interesting, but I'm glad that they put that there. The unknown soldiers. So obviously the people who these soldiers were and family members, you know, they know, right? Because obviously their family member didn't come back. And, you know, in avalanches, uh, you never know what had happened. So recovering, I would imagine recovering a body uh, is pretty difficult. Right. If, if it ain't next to possible because it gets buried under foot and foot of snow. So unless like the family comes through or <clears throat> the family members come through or whatnot and let them know, hey, I, I haven't seen my family member in a long time or they lost paperwork. For the, the, I would imagine the soldiers got documentation of everybody on take head count who's missing, who's missing. So it's interesting that they say unknown. Right. Unless they enlisted into the military 
uh, without any type of documentation. Uh, but uh, Sabaton, the great thing that they've done here is that they shed light on these type of things like uh, stuff about history, you know, and that's what led me to like Sabaton is because these are things that I probably would have never come across. Right. I don't I'm not necessarily a history buff, so I have no inclination to go and dig up any type of history because that's not what I'm interested in. Um, and Sabaton has been my favorite band to consume this type of information from. But those of you who do know uh, family members are tied closely to the events of this song, right? I imagine you probably feel a different way to see this type of stuff be recognized and put forefront by such a uh, such a good uh, good big big band like Sabaton, right? It must definitely make you feel good. It makes me feel good, you know, uh, because uh, with with me having family members that that served in the military, you know, these type of songs definitely kind of hit a little bit harder and, and close to home because most of them, if not all of them, are uh, passed away now. And, you know, and, and you think of these horrors and stuff of, of the human body and going through all these issues, these, these things and and life is so precious. Right. That it just, just makes you sad. And I'm so glad that they put so much, you know, focus on something like this. And I'm telling you guys, this album, this album that they got coming out. Right. Is, is about to be about to be litty like in less i can't find another different word but it's, it's about to go off because these last two songs i believe christmas truce was the first of whatever uh album they're coming out and in this song both of them have been absolute bangers you know what i mean like this is crazy this is crazy and i'm so glad to be here at the forefront i'm so glad to not be i mean i'm still trailing right they got albums of music i still need to react to uh but at least was a war of all wars that's what it's called right the the, the war to end all wars I'm going to have a reaction to every single song on that album right now. And that's probably going to be my first completed one um, unless I finish Art of War because I think I'm close to finishing that one. But anyways, whew, man, I talk so much. <laughs> that's what good bands do, man. They give you. OK, anyways, that's the end of this video. If you enjoyed the content, leave a like and subscribe. Dave's out.